Hello and welcome to all the viewers. So in today's video, we will going to discuss about a structural analysis of gantry chain using ANSYS workbench as well as space claim. So we have splitted this into two parts. The present video belongs to the part one and in part two, we will going to discuss about how to perform the finite element analysis. So this will be very a long video chain that is why we split it that into two parts so please stay tuned so this slide represents the learning build in this video so if you see that in the part one we first discuss about how to simplify this a complex geometry which consists of your i beams as well as your pipes as well as bolted connections steepeners okay so we will try to simplify that. We will extract the mid surface. We will do few geometry editing as well as extension operations using space claim, as well as we will also discuss how to create a weld at the connections when there is no contacts are present. We also discuss how to check the surface normals as well as how to check the connectivity in space claim or ANSYS mechanical. So this slide represent the problem statement of our present video. So if you see this schematic represent the gantry crane and here nothing but your hook which may carry the respective load. So it can move in in and out conditions. So based on uh, uh, either it is at the central position or any position along this you can easily calculate which will be the your worst case scenario where here here or here. Okay. So our problem statement is like we need to perform the structural analysis, a finite element analysis of gantry cane for 500 kg load carrying capacity and to check the structure of a gantry cane is safe or not as per the yield criteria, yield criteria and the material is structural steel. So basically we need to apply this 500 kg load on this respective I-beam and we need to check the stresses against the structural steels ill stress okay so what we will do now we will go to our ANSYS and then in the first part we will see how to simplify this geometry using space claim so now uh, we are inside our ANSYS workbench and under this project schematic you just need to drag and drop your geometry or you can even directly drag and drop your static structural module and on this right click you just need to edit your geometry in a respective space claim or design modeler so our present video scope is space claim so you just need to right click on that and then you can go to your space claim respective geometry so i had already imported this geometry you can even import assembly and you can click on the fly file and from here you can Im import your respective geometry by just browsing your directory okay so if you see this this is nothing but your a gantry cane which may consist of your i beams uh, bolted connection steepeners and it may also have your square sections and at the bottom you will find there are a bolts are present okay and you can see on the central location the hooks are present which carry the chain and then that respect to chain you will find the loads which can be carried by using this respective crane okay so now what we can do by seeing geometry it looks like it is nothing but your sheet metal structure or you can see this is i beam this is your square pipes and this is nothing but simple plate structure so instead of going 3d uh, mesh we can go with the 2d mesh options okay so for that let's first select all the components for which we need to extract the mid surface so i will going to select all the components you can see here i am just selecting any faces okay don't miss any component and uh, even bottom
check here this bottom this bottom this this okay i think we have selected all the and now right click and you can see the option called hide others okay so others are hidden and only for which we need to extract the mid surface are present so for simplification purpose you can even delete these fillets just select this select this and then just press a delete option so if you press the delete option you will find that that will going to be deleted just delete from your keyboard okay because it will create unnecessary problem for your mid surface extractions now you can see how this structure looks like so we can assume that this will be welded on that and even this plate will also be welded on this okay and here also you will find weld like this like this and here also you will find the weld kind of thing so you can create a simple weld option or else you can even go with the just uh, extension of the geometry okay the very first let's extract the mid surface so for mid surface extraction you need to go to the uh, prepare tab and on the prepare you will find the mid surface once you will click on the mid surface it will show create a mid surface from group of offset faces so like that it will display the information now you will find that on the details panel there are two option you can even select the selected face go one by one but i think it will take a time or else you can define a range option like minimum to maximum thickness so so for example you can just check the whatever the thickness of your two bodies and accordingly you can define the max and minimum range so let's define the higher value as 20 and then select all the respective components so it it is now going to be displayed you can see okay once it is done just click on the check so it will create a mid surface so now if you see on the bottom it is creating mid surface okay now if you see the mid surface are created you can see that on the middle sections though you have created the mid surface it is still showing the 3d geometry okay even you can use this option if you want to trim extend the surfaces like this or else you can go one by one so if you see here it is going to be extended by using this option extend surfaces see on this or else you even need to check one by one okay now let's click on the any where on the surface and go to display tab select all this design select okay then select all this go to display and here on this style override you can click and you can select the opaque right now it is transparent so we will make it opaque so that we can see the surfaces so if you see by using opaque option we will find that it is going to be visible okay now let's do one thing let's try to move our next step that is nothing but our weld or surface extension options so now if you see here uh, we can see these are already extended but we will assume that this will going to be connected end to end phase for so for that let's go to extend select go to the pool option okay now you can uh, even define the direction or else just click over here up to so we will define this face so now you can see it is 
extended up to that respective phase. Similarly, repeat procedure for this and define up to this. Okay. Now, similarly, repeat for this. Select these two phases. You can even define, click over here, you can define the respective direction if you want by clicking on that respective arrow. Okay. Or else you can simply define by up to. Similarly, repeat for the bottom and select this respectively. So it is straightforward, it will automatically calculate that. And here also you can see like our extension is created by default. So this phase is done. Now let's do the repetition on this phase. Select this, select up to, repeat, select this select up to so it is very easy compared to the space claim uh, sorry compared to the design model okay okay now you can see this is extension is performed now let's do the second step so either you can create a specific weld or else you can create simple extension so now we also need to extend this you can create a weld or simply just extend that. If I'm not wrong, there might be one phase should be there. Okay, I think we missed this geometry, which will going to be welded with this, like this. And then on this, these bars are welded. So, in that scenario, let's check whether on this end also, I think it is not present. So what we can do, we can select this, we can select this and right click, hide others, repeat the mid surface, repair mid surface use thickness option select and generate okay and click on the outside let's go and just display display opac okay now let's go to the mid surface and click over here so that you can now you can easily find out the mid surface is created okay now let's we have created the mid surface either you can create a weld between these two bodies or else you can define a contact so how to decide that whether i need to create a contact or weld suppose in actual there will be weld at the edges at this edge as well as at this edge with this upper base but what will happen if you create a weld the load transfer will going to happen through this weld only and if you think of the load it is going to be vertically downward so in that case this phase will going to come in contact with this phase so in that case it is better you can define a contact between these two bodies instead of creating a weld suppose if your load is in this direction like this in z direction in that case this and this will be a, a there will be a frictional contact and no actual contact will come into picture. So in that case, you can even use the weld. So I think by both the way, either create a weld or you can create a bonded contact. So you need to decide that based on the criticality or after you will get the high stresses. Now let's decide regarding this. Let's select, in order to select the whole edge, press control click all now go to design pool option and you can define phase up to now it is showing it is not taking the option called up to so in that case what you need to do you just need to drag that upside let's repeat that select this phase control select this phase and on this arrow just drag this like this so if you drag like this you will find that this is created like this 
not exactly perpendicular to that face. So in order to do that, let's do Control Z and go one by one. This one. If you see the difference, let's zoom on this. Now it is creating perpendicular to this face. And if you want normal to this face, in that case, Control Z, go here. You can define the respective directions. Let's try right now with up to face option. Okay, it's still not working. Now let's define the dimension. So I can define uh, the full direction. So let's click over here. And if you want to define the pool direction, you can define like this. And now we can see it is moving like that. Okay. Now similarly repeat like this. You need to decide here how I want uh, like this or perpendicular to the other. Okay. Now let's use option called split body. Select this body, select this face and remove. I will repeat one more time. Select this body, select this face and remove. Okay. Now you can see that this is nothing but your weld is created. Now similarly, you can create on this. I think this is already extended. If I'm not wrong, let's check. Okay. Not extended. So click here. Select, go to pool, select this face. Here up to will work. Okay, like this. You can see or control Z. Suppose if you want, this is a separate body. In this case, you can use option called no merge and then define two. It should basically, it should work actually. It should create a separate entity in this with this option, but right now it is a single body. So likewise, it is working. But anyway, here either you can extend because this is very small face. You can project on that respect to weld or you can create a weld. But I think simple extension will be beneficial over here like this. Okay. Now let's do the repeat for this. For this case, how you will going to do? You will just define two. This. Now you can see two is not working. So we can simply drag like that inside and use option split body. Select this, select the surface and you can see remove the inside body. Okay. It is very simple. But right now we are assuming that it is welded throughout these edges. But what about this inside face? Do we want this inside face? No, it is not possible over here. Welding is not possible. So how to do that? In that case, go to options, select. Now what we can do? We can project this two edges on this face. So go use option project. Okay. Select this face as well as select inside face. And right now you can define the direction simply by using this and check. Okay. Now if you see this is extra face, select that face, delete. Okay. Let's repeat for this. Select, delete. Now we can see that we have properly created. Here we created a weld. Here we created extra faces. Here we directly extended. And between these two bodies, we will going to create a weld. Let's hide this. Okay, it is properly connected. Now let's repeat this project on this face generate. So we what we can do here, this bolted connection, we will going to idealize by using this face and this face bonded contact. You can even create bolt between these two, three faces and you can define the frictional contact. But let's simplify that by using the bonded contact. Okay. Now I think this face is already done. Now let's talk about the another. So I will going to repeat quickly 
this direction also now pull so you just have a look on that how i am doing i am doing direction now we have created let's split that it is very easy when, when you compare with the your design modeler it is very easier to create a weld and to play on the geometry let's use pool for the select the face select the direction then extend go to the split body option select that body select the cut face and remove the unwanted face okay now let's repeat further pool for this respect to select the face select the direction and let's extend inside like this then split body select this face select the trim face trim unwanted okay now let's check whether it is on this face here i think the weld will be the straight face instead of creating we created a here it is normal actually but the fact is here you can create a normal so how to do that in that case you can select that face define this direction and up to so now we can see the difference okay let's see okay here also it is proper no issue now this is done and let's further repeat select this face use option project on this face on this face select the generate okay we have projected that face so right now if you see uh, we have created this uh, weld trim connections also on this face now we had finished the upper part now let's talk about the middle face middle portion so here here let's check first select tall and try to use pull option you first use uh, up to up to here it is curvature so it won't work but let's try okay it is showing issue and that issue can be read it here it will show okay clear now let's try try another option by using pull okay now we can do one thing select this body select this face and furthermore select this body select this curvature face let's repeat here select this body select this curvature face and then now remove this okay now if you see here two different geometry or parts are created so what we can do we can select this we are combining right now with this and let's combine with this okay now let's repeat the same on the other side let's select now let's combine this this 
and this okay i think we had completed this also click on a select now let's go to the bottom side here you know to fill this hole just select that delete select delete similarly select delete select delete okay here i think it already took up to this now let's try to pull let's queue this page okay it's working this let's give this page okay now let's further repeat the same only this pool move these options are really very useful when you use the space plane now we have created here and here also uh, we need to create either a wilt or else you can create a bonded contact so we can create a contact for that go to project select this face furthermore select this face and uh, you can uh, select the target face this one define the normal okay now you can see the projections are created now let's repeat on the other side i okay this where is this missing we have hidden or not let's display all show all and here i think mid surface is not extracted for this hide others go to prepare mid surface use range select this body generate okay now go to design select we will first display the visibility now show all now i will quickly repeat the same what we discussed earlier pool Okay, here it seems to be extended, but not this edges. So, what to do in that case? So, let's first hide this. So quickly display all the faces okay now select this pool make it inside split body select now next step we will going to combine i think the same thing even you can even use that with same geometry here no need to repeat the procedure that is duplicate or mirror that but uh, it is not complex in that to so double click here you need to define properly okay, here it is creating some issue right okay Split body, select this. Then combine. Okay, I think we have completed this also. Now let's try the bottom face. Let's repeat the same what we did. So if you don't want to repeat this, you can simply mirror. So I just repeated this to have practice. You can simply repeat, the, uh, create a plane here, use this and then simply mirror. No need to do all these repetitions.
so I'm doing the same it might be lengthy but you should able to to buy your own end okay now i think we have completed the whole geometry cleanup options now let's check what are these faces i think this hide others okay so these are the wheels which we created now let's uh, display the mid surface click over here and uh, now you can form this in a single part you can create right click move new to new component and here you can define shell okay and on this shell you can use the option called So if you see here this is on that respective component click here you can use the option called share okay so what does it mean it means that it will going to merge all the extended faces so if you use none then it will not show the connectivity okay that is what i think in workbench if you check Select these. You can even check share unshare options, and you can simply click on mechanical so that it will simply drag you to the mechanical options. Okay. Now, if you want to do, let's make it none. Make it share. Now we can check the connectivity where it is connecting. Okay. And just click over here. Once you will click, it will show the connectivity. You can easily check the connectivity. See, see proper. This purple edge are uh, means connected. These are the two edges, two to three edges. Here also one edge. Only reds are open. Okay, there is no red anywhere in the geometry. So that is what the wonder of space claim. You can play with different surfaces. Okay, and if you want to unshare, you just click unshare. So this is one option, share, or else you can simply click. Let's click here, unshare. It will take time. Now you can see here that share symbol also gone. So you can do by this option also called share. So it will show the connectivity in mechanical. Okay, when you open this geometry in mechanical. Now the last topic is uh, how to measure the shell normal. So for that, you just select all the face, go to the I think display option assembly measure option okay on the measure this is normal you can display by arrow see which is quite complex or else you can define by color on here let's define front by red one so that it can be easily identified and back one now let's click here and check the normals okay i think all normals should be okay see here on the build this normal is wrong okay so how to correct that i will tell you let's first check at the bottom also this is okay if you want to reflect this normal it is okay so one two and let's check here three four five six now let's select all that Select and right click and reverse face normal. 
now we can see the normal is change now let's further repeat check here okay now the normal is copper here also it is done so i think we have completed the whole geometry editing part okay uh, now if you see we have completed our geometry simplification weld extension all the respective part let's go further okay so if you see geometry simplification mid surface editing extension okay weld creation normal check connectivity check so all we have completed now the next topic uh, next topic is let's check the hook position is here so basically the 500 kg weight will going to act on this through this rollers so what we can do now uh, let's assume the same position okay and you can project that respect to roller on this let's hide this so these two rollers will come in contact with that so if you project this on this face this normal you will find that it will going to come like that let's select one more face okay and project now similarly repeat on this select face normal like this select uh, direction and face generate okay now hide the hook hide the hook now if you see here we have created these two spots so just simply split this use split option Control Z. You first need to split like this. Okay, it will showing me showing first this, first this, and like that. Okay. So now you can simply select delete delete if you want you can delete or keep yes just delete mm, this middle and delete like that it will come okay now similarly here also you can repeat split right angle control shade And now delete the unwanted lines one two three four five six seven delete okay now on this smaller face area we will create the we will apply the respective load okay that is what we are thinking at present later on based on your maximum displacement stress we can decide that whether we need to keep here or somewhere else okay now let's check further simplify right click else delete the empty component and now suppress all the solid components right click suppress suppress for physics and we do have only this is active component Okay, 
now let's go to the your mechanical right click refresh or you can edit that so now it will going to open your geometry in a mechanical and there you can check first the connections apply material conditions apply loading and boundary conditions and then decide okay so if you see all thicknesses are taken by default except few thicknesses so you need to look into that weight faces okay so it is simple for this go to the corresponding bodies in a tree for this 4 mm so it should be 4 mm click here okay so this 4 mm similarly repeat for this two Okay, it is here created in single parts, so no need to worry. Okay, here, here, four mm. And now let's check the other faces. This one, this one. Okay, you need to select uh, the minimum thickness. Go to the corresponding body symmetry, twelve mm. Go to the corresponding body symmetry, four mm. So basically, this is twelve mm. This is four mm. so let's decide the minimum thickness for this let's decide the 4 mm let's decide other side 4 mm and i think this is also 4 mm this is uh, belongs to this side okay here we need to remove that let's go to space claim here it is okay and here it is we need to remove this to so select this you can go to project you can project on this face you can define the normal like this Target face this each generate. Similarly, we need to repeat for this. Okay, now you can delete this. now select and here update geometry form shows so it should split into two parts now okay you can see and that will create a another for him assignment will be structural steel that we will view later on okay now if you see our mechanical uh, geometry let's go to display here connection by connection and by connection you can easily find out where the connections are created or not see free single double so you need to check whether red red edge key is connected or not so i don't think any red edge except opening points so you just need to check each and every connections right similarly on this i don't think there is issue for us okay so it means that we have created a proper geometry that is we extracted the 2d surface from the 3d and we already seen the thicknesses already assigned for the remaining faces like weld faces we assign the thickness now the next task is we need to create a fe mesh need to define the loading boundary condition need to apply loads and then need to check the results from and compare the stresses with respect to yield criteria so that we will going to cover into the part 2
so thank you guys so please do not forget to share like and subscribe to our channel you will find this is nothing but very quality content and you will not find such a kind of content elsewhere on the interweb okay so please do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel if you have any issues please let me know on the comment sections we will going to reply as early as possible so thank you bye bye take care